The U.S. Army Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office, known as RCCTO, announced the successful delivery of four cutting-edge Directed Energy Maneuver Short-Range Air Defense, or DEM SHORAD, prototype systems to the 4th Battalion, 60th Air Defense Artillery Regiment at Fort Sill. Delivering the platoon of prototypes marks a pivotal milestone for RCTTO's DEM SHORAD Project Management Office, led by Colonel Stephen D. Gutierrez. It represents a major landmark accomplishment for the entire team involved. This momentous delivery coincides with the historic reactivation of the 460th Air Defense Artillery Regiment, or ADAR, in March of 2022, and the subsequent reactivation of its Delta Battery in June of this year. It signifies the continued smooth transition of the 460th ADAR from the 32nd Army Air and Missile Defense Command to the 1st Armored Division, which took place in November 2022. To prepare for the integration of these groundbreaking laser weapon systems, the 460th ADAR commenced training in the fall of 2022. Drivers underwent rigorous training using a surrogate M. Shorad vehicle specifically constructed to replicate the DEM Shorad prototype's size, weight, and power. Additionally, the crews skillfully simulated the execution of the structure of an attack or kill chain on the vital crew trainer operating systems provided by the RCCTO. The Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense System, or DEM SHORAD, is a 50 kilowatt class laser designed to protect divisions and brigade combat teams against unmanned aircraft systems, rotary and fixed wing threats, rockets, artillery, and mortars, said Marsha Holmes, the Deputy Director of Hypersonics, Directed Energy, Space, and Rapid Acquisition. Our goal is to deliver prototypes that soldiers can use as the mission requires and that the Army can leverage as a baseline for a program of record, Holmes said. A soldier-centered design is a key part to reduce risk and to ensure an operationally effective weapon system. The effort to put a laser on a striker vehicle equipped with a maneuver short-range air defense system began in mid-2019 when the U.S. Army awarded KBR subsidiary Cord Technologies a contract to integrate a laser system onto the vehicle. As the program's prime contractor, Cord subsequently awarded subcontracts to the Northrop Grumman and Raytheon Technologies teams to develop the laser module. The competition between Northrop and Raytheon to produce the laser module was intended to culminate in a shoot-off between the two teams, but Northrop took itself out of the running ahead of the event in early 2021 after problems with the power and thermal management system resulted in fire and smoke damage to the laser system and other components. The addition of the DEM SHORAD and other directed energy capabilities, like the Indirect Fire Protection Capacity High Energy Laser, or IFPC HEL, and IFPC High Power Microwave, are all designed to complement the Army's kinetic air defense capabilities, said Craig Robin, Deputy Director of the RCCTO's Directed Energy Project Office. The unique design of the DEM SHORAD leverages Stryker's gas-powered engine to energize its batteries, cooling system, and laser. The self-connected system has enough electricity to address multiple threats at a time before needing a period to recharge, he said. There are places where directed energy can provide a significant advantage, he added. All the bullets are built into the system, so the logistics associated with moving a platform and supplying it require just gas and parts. Robin added that directed energy systems are also more cost-effective from a life cycle perspective, making them a strategic tool to take out low-cost threats like a UAS to save the Army's kinetic capabilities.
In March 2023, at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona, crews from 460th ADAR and the DEM Shorad prototype team came together to conduct a highly successful capability demonstration during a live fire exercise. The event showcased the remarkable potential of these prototypes and left a lasting impression on participants and viewers. The delivery of DEM Shorad prototypes to the 460th ADAR represents a transformational milestone in the Army's modernization campaign. It is an achievement that adds what was often thought of as a next-generation capability now, stated Colonel Gutierrez. These high-energy laser systems will be a game-changer on the contemporary battlefield, a critical component of an integrated, layered, and in-depth air missile defense for division and brigade maneuver formations. Colonel Gutierrez continued, I couldn't be prouder of our team. The Directed Energy Project Office took nascent technologies and accelerated their maturation and development to put hardware in the hands of soldiers in record time. This will prove to be a deterrent as well as an effective weapon system against relevant threat sets that require minimal logistical support versus traditional and legacy systems. Receiving these groundbreaking systems enables the 460th ADAR Delta Battery to embark on collective training with kinetic variants of the DEM Shorat as they were concurrently received in June 2023. This opportunity allows for enhanced evaluation of the integration and employment of these systems within the Army's integrated and layered air missile defense architecture, as well as their structural alignment within division formations. Lieutenant Colonel Alex Corby, former 460th ADAR Battalion Commander, notes the delivery of the DEM Shorad prototypes marks an extraordinary advancement in our military capabilities. Today, Delta Battery echoes its name in the annals of military history as the Army's first ever tactical, directed energy capable unit. With cutting edge technology at their disposal, they are pioneers, forging a path towards a more formidable and agile future for our forces. Looking ahead, in partnership with the Army Test and Evaluation Command, the Army plans to employ these prototypes in a soldier touchpoint in fiscal year 2024. This assessment will provide invaluable insights into the capabilities and limitations of these cutting-edge systems, aiding the Army in its ongoing quest for innovation and progress. The RCCTO, alongside its dedicated partners and 460th ADAR, remains steadfast in its commitment to innovation and excellence. Together, they forge a path towards a future where cutting-edge technologies like the DEM Shorad prototype system pave the way for an enhanced and robust national defense.